my name is Natasha Decosta. My company's name is Dirt. We basically help you to upcycle plastic bottles and we're going to be showing you a very simple, easy drip irrigation that you can have in your own house made from just any regular plastic bottle. To start with, you'd need a nice cutter. I say cutter because uh, you need to just make that indent into the... That's, yeah, let's see, that's all you need to make inside it. Then you can take a good scissor. A nice hole, big enough for you to put your hand and fill it up. Plastic bottles are transparent and it's important that you paint it inside and create an opaque coat because uh, the roots of the plant should not come in touch with uh, light. To give the inner or the outer uh, surface of the bottle a nice opaque coat, I'm using right now oil paint uh, but you could also use acrylic and uh, this is what it look like once it's dried up. Now uh, just to add some more character to your bottle, we are going to be putting a jute fabric on top of it. It also helps to just make it more opaque. So over here I make it, I've made a mixture of fevicol and water and uh, this is the consistency that you need of your fevicol and water. It should not be too runny and it should not be too thick also because it needs to spread easily. I'm going to very quickly apply it on the bottle. So I have with me a piece of fabric that you can cut. Now we're just going to attach it on. While attaching the fabric, it's very important for you to uh, you start on one side and press it downwards so that you don't get any wrinkles and you do not get any air bubbles as such as well. So this also takes about a half an hour or so to dry up. And then to finish it up, I've actually used some uh, fish tank pipe which I've slit in the middle because you don't want to hurt your hands every day while you're maintaining your plants and you can just slide it on the top. So there we are, it is now done. It also helps to keep the fabric in place. So this nylon that I'm putting in over here is going to act like a guide for the water. This can be placed indoors and it should not dirty your wall. So you would give it a, we tie it up over here in, at the top. So what's going to happen is when the water trickles out from the bottle, it's going to follow this guide and this is going to get rooted in the next bottle. Now we are going on to filling up the bottle. So same as before, we are going to put in a little bit of soil. This is again, uh, this is mud, cocoa peat and compost. When you are putting the soil in, ensure that the, the front and the back of the bottle are filled up with soil. In fact, I would tell you to just scoop it in so that you make a kind of a well in the center because we are going to be putting our plant over here, alright? So I like to work with edible plants, you know, rather than it just being an ornament in the house, you can actually use it. And since you connect with your plants, you are actually, everyone actually, starts taking better care of it. So ideally, herbs would be good. That's it. Ensure that you pack it in properly and your bottle planter is ready. So we've basically made a stand over here. This, we're going to anchor it safely inside the plant below it because it's going to act like a guide so the water just falls down and over here and the previous one we are going to anchor in this now what we've done over here is we've uh, again put a bottle on the top and it has a dripper and it has a hole over here this hole again you can make it e even with a with a compass or even with a soldering rod and uh, this hole this dripper you can get in almost any irrigation uh, shop i'm going to fill up the water inside this and there you are. So the water drips from one bottle, it's going to the next and then it goes over here and then excess, if any, gets collected over here. And at the base, what we've done is, we've cut off the base of the bottle. You know, this is just like this, we've cut it off, we've made a hole and we've inverted it and kept it in. So, because this water is going to basically sit down over there maybe for the rest of the day and we would not want any mosquitoes or anything going inside that. So this is how we've basically taken care of it. And then this, uh, the last end of the nylon has to also sit inside this bottle so that we will not have any unnecessary leakage or splash inside our house. How often you can water it is during the monsoons, I would say every alternate day. And even during the winter, again, every alternate day is good. Only in the summer season, there's a lot of evaporation of water. So there I would tell you to water every day.